Well, hello there, my darlings. Happy Monday to all of you and welcome back to Let's Build the World. The world. And welcome to part seven of the Hargroves. We are going to be continuing on with the living area kind of kit, just getting a few more little cheeky details in there around the main, I'm looking at it now, around the main dining room. The walkthroughs, we need some gallery art, the little snug that we've got as well. And then what I think we're going to do is go on and do the balcony area and also maybe make a start on the master suite today too. Um, so yeah, two or three parts of this coming out this week, plus another adventure with Beryl and some more Potter Project as well. So be on the looks out for them, my darlings. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. We'll get into the game, then we'll have a little chat um, and continue on with this build. So without further ado, get your tits in a bra and get in the car. Okay, you beautiful buggers. We are back. We are back. We're back at the Hargroves. This is all what we did last time. I've changed a few things around, including the shelves that we had here. There's like, it just didn't look right. And I think that looks really nice over there. It looks like there's got some stuff there to now use in the kitchen and whatnot. And I'm, I'm kind of for that. Absolutely kind of for it. Um, what else did I do? I put a few more details up here, including this little sculpture piece, which is from um, Dream Home Decorator. They came with a couple of these little ones, and I don't mind them. They're quite modern. We've needed some modern kind of sculptures in the game for quite a long time, uh, and we finally got some. I've also put a mirror up there and a little plant there just to finish that area off, and I think that's got enough in. Now, I know a few of you are shading me, saying that, have you turned a leaf, Aiden? You like pampas grass now? No! I don't. I fucking hate it. If I'd see it in my house, I would burn it, I tell you. But I just think it suits the vibe of this house. So that's what I've decided to go for. Um, Over into the dining room. Didn't do much here. I put a toddler um, high chair. Don't even know what they're called. But a high chair there. And I also overlapped these two objects here. That one there and this one. Just to make a little like moment going on there. And I'm kind of for that. Kind of for that. I'm going to pull you in a little bit more there though. To that plant there. Um, and I'm kind of like how the area looks. I'm kind of feeling the vibe. I really, really am. So, yeah, we're continuing on today. So, as I said, need to do this kind of walkway, this here. We want some lovely gallery art up on the walls there. We're going to do this little snug moment that we've got going on here. That I may kind of have like an office moment on this part as well. Um, just like a nice generic, well, not generic, just a relaxed office. It's kind of open to the living space, so you don't need privacy and whatnot. But there, we've got a bathroom going on in there. Not going to do these two, two rooms just yet. I'm going to continue on with the balcony or do the balcony today and then make a start on the master suite itself with its own balcony too. So, and then tomorrow we'll come back and I'll probably furnish these two off of camera. I'm thinking about doing one of these as a playroom rather than a bedroom, but it kind of, you could have it as a bedroom as well if you wanted. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but... Yeah, no, I just think a nice bedroom in there would look really cute. I mean, playroom would look really cute. And it would kind of make sense being around the main kind of like living space. Um, So I might do that. I might do that. And then obviously, as the weeks progress, we're going to continue on and do the like uh, guest suites and whatnot. We need, to do, we need to do the butler's wing as well. And then also we've got that big underground vibe that we've got going on. Um, with the nightclub and recording studio and cinema and everything. But that will probably be next week. We'll get down to the basement level. We'll concentrate on the main house, house area um, for today and this week. So without further ado, let's go, shall we? Yes, we should indeed. Now these stairs here, they never look bloody. They always like, they, they tease you here saying it's going to be a dark wood. And it's not. It's very chocolatey and it does my nut in. So I might change the stairs out, actually. Let me see that. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, I am going to do... Oh, shit. Will that look weird? I want to do a banister on there, a glass banister. But it might look strange. Reasons being, I think the glass is going to go through that window there, which isn't... Oh, oh, no, it's not. Have they fixed that? Have they fixed that bug? Oh! <gasps> Have they finally fixed that bug? I'm not holding my breath because we all know how long the bugs take to get fixed. But for me, that is looking that that banister bug is fixed. Oh my God, it might be fixed. Let me try a big chunky one, see if that works. <gasps> I think it's fixed, loves. Oh my Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm 
sorry. <laughs> I got a bit, I was feeling that then. I was, I was having a moment. I was, woo, prison to God, darling. <laughs> I, I was on one then. You'll have to excuse me, but I'm sure someone out there enjoyed that. Anyway, let's get some art out, shall we? I'm feeling some really nice, you know, the piece that I've used because it's the only one that, oh, I forgot about you now. You're new. No. They would be a vibe. I'd probably have to size them up because I do want this to be quite uh, an impact here. What? How big do you go? How big's the frame? Uh, oh, that's not too bad. That kind of goes with the vibe. Kind of like the mix of the wood as well for some reason. I think it's because these have got like lighter pieces in them. It's making that kind of sit in okay. Um, What vibe would we like here? Oh, that's nice. I like that one. In this space I do anyway. Um... I like all of these prints, to be honest with you. I think they're all gorgeous. Um, but I think, oh, that one kind of suits in here as well. Oh, I like that one. I like that vibe. I do like this one here, but I think we should get more of like that kind of vibe going on. I, I hate how thick the frames go. I won't lie. But, you know, you've got to make do with what you've got sometimes. And your sweethearts. And you must sweethearts. <laughs> I sounded so Devon then. And I'm fucking for it. I really am, loves. Yeah, I think so. Oh, they're very thick, though, aren't they? Um, I was thinking more along the lines of this. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to use these. I'm going to use these somewhere, but I don't think size and up is the way to go. So I will keep these out just in case. Is there anywhere I could put one in here? Maybe, like, maybe we could do two up there or something. I'm just going to put them roughly up there for the minute. And I think I'm going to continue on and use these here. Oh, even though that wood, I didn't even notice how orange that wood is. Oh, I like an orange wood, don't get me wrong. But not in this space, love. Not in this space at all. Uh, I think probably going like that kind of, oh, do you know what? That fits the vibe, loves, that does. Oh, I'm for it. I will need to whiffle you up one though, my sweet. Flop over this way. And I'm going to do another one here as well. Gonna do another one here, darlings. How have you all been anyway? How was your weekends? What were you getting up to? What did you do? Tell me. Let's have a tell me. Speak on it in the comments, darlings. I'd be very interested to know. I really would. Um, I just, I went to a spa, I had a spa day with my best mate. It was amazing. People were laughing at me saying, How did you <laughs> how did your raindrop therapy go? It was beautiful. It was beautiful. I just lay down outside, let the rain come. I did. It's not how it works. No, it was just a, like a massage technique. It was so beautiful. It was two hours long. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to hate sitting, lying down still for two hours. Did I fuck loves? I would have stayed there for three weeks. I really would have. It was so nice. So, so nice. So I'd recommend it to anybody. If you haven't had kind of a raindrop therapy moment, See if there's any spas near you that do it, and I would recommend it thoroughly. Especially the spa that we went to, the Gaia Spa, which is in um, Plymouth. It is in a hotel called Barrington Hall. Um, it is beautiful. Oh my god, it's beautiful, darling. And you've got to treat yourself sometimes, all right? You have got to bloody treat yourself sometimes. If you think, I can't really afford that. I and I know what it's like. I know what it's like. I've been there. I've struggled for money. But you've got to treat yourselves. It is, and I'm... This is a, a public service announcement. To, um, <laughs> I might be able to say it first, actually. This is a public service announcement to all of you that are worrying about whether or not you should treat yourselves. You should fucking treat yourself, all right? Worry about things at a later date. Just get out there and treat yourselves. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my talk. I appreciate it. I really do. But it's so important have a treaty treat every now and again it really is um i like that i like that area i like how it's looking again don't forget we're going for a very minimal look to this whole house so i'm not going to be overly cluttering clutter cluttering cluttering everything we've got the black ceiling black back makes it look so much better in my humble opinion um and i'm for it i'm very much for it now, I don't know if I want to do... I might change the lights out here because I don't want to overly decorate this at all. I don't want anything here. I don't want any furniture against the windows. I can't bear that shit. So I think to make this walkway a little bit more interesting, I'm going to need to put some nice lights in. Um, I'm not using these here either. I've just got them there for the minute because I thought I was going to and I'm not. 
so let's choose some new lights some nice pendulum lighting that we can have going down here oh i had to try a few things then um nothing was working the pendulum lights just looked weird and they only looked weird as soon as i changed out this light here which i really love i love in that space i think it looks really cool it's just up above that skylight level there as well um but it was just looking really strange having different style lights going down this hallway so what i decided to do to just put a little bit more interest on it was to make it feel like it's kind of separate from this room rather than flowing and through and i just did that by putting a little divider up there and to me that kind of separates that area off now puts a little bit of detail in there but then your main focus is this actual stairwell with this big light anyway so and as soon as i start furnishing this here i think that's going to really really help it too so that was my thoughts behind that darlings yes it was indeed anyway so we're going to be into mini office little snug area so i do want a bookcase in this room Ooh, ooh, i may mm, i think it might be a bit big but i was thinking about maybe size um separating this room off slightly as well with a bookcase and the one that i thought was the bookcase of dreams that i've used into to death in lots and lots of builds yeah that's too wide that's too much of a separation there I mean I could just put it behind the wall and do that kind of vibe with it but I don't know I probably would go around and do this kind of vibe instead because that kind of fits onto that um shape then do you know what I mean because this bit's taller so up against the wall and then this bit's got that see that's a bit wider there yeah I'm for that I do like the black as well I'm gonna try the brown no I'm not <laughs> because it's got bloody orange on it we don't want orange darling because we want black like my soul yes yeah i do think so but now i've done that i'm just gonna put one light there i think instead yeah vibes vibes for it this is what's happening is tests so i do like these um two pictures but i'm thinking Mm, will they look okay with a desk there we're going to try first i think this is going to be like the desk kind of office area so we've got that kind of space there and then i'm going to have like a chair or two chairs facing outwards here so they've got the view of the pier and everything over this way you know just trying to think along those kind of vibes so this is what we're going to do yes we are um oh 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 i'm kind of there for that i mean these would have to go up higher and more together but i'm kind of there for that loves yeah i'm there for that styling that is the desk that we're going to use stunning are those pictures equal they are now they are now yeah i'm for that mixing these wood tones in right we need a nice chair so i do want to still fit in with those kind of well try to fit in with like a mid-century vibe um so maybe it needs to be an office chair really this one here is lovely i've used this chair to death but i i love this chair but maybe going for yes that's the vibe isn't it yeah that's the vibe that is the vibe right there darlings i'm for that um we need like a little storage unit or something here so let me find something i decided to go for that one i think it really suits the vibe in here it's a little bit more industrial but i kind of like how it looks with this whole setup we've got going on here that one's from university by the way if you were wondering my loves how are you anyway how was your weekend i know i've asked that already but i always like to look in the camera into your eyes and just ask you if you're okay i think it's very important that people do that um even people you don't know my loves make sure you do that i do randoms on the street they're like talking before talking to before you weird uh, are you all right <laughs> um i know americans get confused with that um the are you all right are you all right you all right you're all right? it's just a way of us brits to say hello to be honest with you people always think it means that there's something wrong with them or something not always darlings not always you gotta you gotta um listen to the tone if i was like oh you're all right then i might be saying you okay my loves something's not right here but if i was like you're right a lot different a lot different <laughs> learning with aiden learning with aiden it's a pastime it's a pastime you know right a nice lamp probably not in that color we're gonna go for this kind of vibe can we can you not i hate pivoting i hate pivoting oh my god did you hear my throat then probably not but that was a very weird sound 
That was a very weird sound indeed. Yes, I'm, I'm happy with this area, how it's coming together. One problem that I'm seeing from this is that they might have to go and get a book from this side because this is this bookcase is back to front and I'm not changing it. It's a style choice. We're going to go for it. All right. So I am going to flop a couple of books here, though, just in case. Can we not have it on this side? Do you not allow that? Oh, you do. That's nice of you. Very nice of you. Thank you, Sims. Thank you, darling. Um. Oh, yeah, like that one. Yeah, vibes. Absolute vibes. I think using the same chairs as well. I might see if there's any other mid-century looking chairs that would look good in this bit. But we do need to bring a little bit more of that green over, maybe. I'm unsure. Let me see. Oh, loves. I forgot that they did the same chair, but in like a different style. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Right. So we need to make use of that lovely view we've got going on. So I'm going to do a chair there. Oh, can you just stay there, please? Thank you. And chair on this side as well, maybe. Let me just see the orientation of this. Um, I think you need to come in a little bit more here. And you there like that. <clears throat> what can I see on this wall here? Not a mirror. No, maybe some shelving. Yeah, a couple of shelves with a nice table in front of it as well. Just a nice small mid-century coffee table. We do have one. I'm wondering if it comes in those swatches that I'm seeing in my mind's eye, though. This one here. Well, that's as best as what we're going to get. Uh, I could do a black one. No, I want more, want more Bryn. I want more Bryn in this room. I think I'm going to try and whiffle that one in there as well. These are probably going to have to come back a little touch now. Just for spatial awareness. Plop that coffee table to there. I think some nice, like, magazines on that. I'm going to text search for magazines. Or just magazine. Magazine. Weird word, that. Very strange. Oh, you're not here? Oh, no, there they are. Oh, the interior ones. Oh, no, that's just as good, darling. That is just as good. I think my, maybe I was thinking of some custom content from Harry and Felix then. No, no, it's with the Moschino set. There is a few, um, you know, little numbers like that. But I think we're going to leave that like that. Yeah, I'm for that. And then some shelves. I'm thinking using the shelves that I used in here in the Kishian um, would work really well in this room as well because they're quite chunky and I do love the vibe of them. Oh, now that does hang over slightly there. But the nice thing about these is the texture doesn't glitch on them very much. Um, More of that, please, Sims team. Thank you. More of that I would like to see. Now you're going to boink your head on that. So I'm going to move these up one and just do one row of shelves. I'm not even going to do it any more above or below it. I'll have to flop you in a little bit more there, darling. Oh, yes, I'm full that. Yes, plant. Feeling a plant on here. A mirror, maybe. Maybe a mirror underneath. That could look quite cute, maybe. Maybe. No. <gasps> I know what to put there. Yeah, these ones. These ones here. And I think we'll go for that more mid-century kind of print as well. Like something like this. Yeah, that looks nice there. I do enjoy that. We definitely still need a plant here, though. But that's kind of taken up the room now. So what I'm probably going to need is a plant up on this Still, seven years later, don't have, like, a plant that, you know. <laughs> That's the technical term for that, all right, loves? <laughs> what I mean by that is, like, a like a climber. Do you know what I mean? The plants that kind of, like, hang over the edges. Like, we've got so many of them from custom content packs. But um, we don't have any in-game, which is infuriating. I would like to see some place. Um, uh, what else could I put up there? Let's do some books if they don't cut in too much. Please don't cut in or please don't. They're going to float. They're going to they're gonna decide to float. Oh, you little shits. So I'm just going to do more of these across here. And then what I'm going to do is rather than... Do I want to move the shelf or do I want to... No, I don't want to move the shelf. I think it's at a lovely height. So I'm going to move these books down with the tool mod. And just do a nice little row of books along it. Uh, same here as well, my love. Thank you ever so Change the colours of them, of course. One there, and there we are. Beautiful. These books look too small now. Do you know what I mean? They don't look long enough to be books anymore. Oh, Christ. Right, let me do this. 
There we are. Tool modded. Down to submission. They are at the right height, I promise. These books just look very, um, they don't look very long. <laughs> we do, and we stand a long book in this household. We really do. We very much, very much really do. Um, do I want any light in there or something? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't want anything on the shelves either. I think there's enough on these shelves. Yeah, I like that area. Like how it looks. I'm fine with it. Oh, yeah, that's coming together nicely, actually. Very nice indeed. Okay, well, what we're going to do now, we're going to do, I think we'll do the bathroom. I think we'll furnish the bathroom. So let's make a start on that. I don't think we're going to make time today to do the master suite, but we can start that tomorrow. We'll start the master bedroom tomorrow. Uh, what we'll continue on with today is the bathroom and the balcony area as well. So bathroom. Now, I think we're going to go for a combo of colours in here. Would it be something I normally do? But kind of earthy tone, terracotta, but modern looking tile. Still going to use some of that panelling in here. Just a nice neutral on the wall. I've also put these here to act as like a privacy screen. Um, and I'm going to use this bath, I think, which is from the Dream Home Decorator, I do believe. Um, I think I'm going to do that. And I also think what I'm going to do, if I can find the fence itself. There we are, darling is maybe tear this up maybe tear this up just slightly let me see what we're working with here yeah i could tear that level up there stunning so whiffle that one into shape that's going to poke through the ceiling now isn't it oh it doesn't fabulous it just comes out the top there but it doesn't poke through the platform itself on top so i'm going to leave it like that yep that's fine stunning so have that as a different at a different level there Let's get that off because I might want to put some wood now underneath that. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do indeed. We use that same platform back here as well. The knock on wood platform. Stunning. Let me see that vibe. Yes, I'm feeling that. Very much feeling that. I'm feeling some more artwork in here as well. So I might even bring a few of these in here too. Don't tend to do artwork in the bathroom. But for some reason, the styling of this one... I think it's going to lend itself well to having some lovely artwork up on the walls. And again, going for this kind of vibe in here. Oh, I do like that one. Um, did I use that one out here? I didn't. So we'll use this one in here. Put that one above there. Stunning. Oh, definitely need a plant in this room as well. I'm feeling a plant coming on, my loves. Feeling an absolute plant coming on. Uh, don't know what plant, though. Oh, maybe I could use one of these in here as well. I mean, I did use one in that corner over there, but... Who's to say that they don't want two fig leaves in their room, even though they will curl up and die after two weeks of having them? Rest in peace, Sheila. I think we all used to remember Sheila. Well, a, a lot of us used to remember Sheila. She used to be in the background of my videos, but as we all know, fig trees are... They're, they're little bits of a shit to look after, and she proved herself to be a little bit of a shit. So she died. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Sheila, my darling. Um, yeah, I like that. No shower in this room, I don't think. I think we're just going to do a nice toilet over this side and a double basin on this side. So basin-wise, um, I do want to stick in with the black theme. Maybe the one from jo this one here. But uh, if I remember rightly, the swatches are really bad. That's not too bad, actually. I thought that wood swatch was going to be awful on it, but it's not too bad at all. Can I, like, you know, can I, like, get rid of that? Will that still work? If I had just that. Oh god, that's gonna creep out. No, go on, just get in there. Just that last little bit. Oh. Uh I don't like it. I don't like it. I prefer that, but I don't think it would work like that. We can try it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that anyway. My throat's gone all weird then. Did you, did you hear my voice? Oh. I think so. And I think underneath what I want to do is maybe try and hide that with these cedar bars because I'm not feeling... Oh, God, no, that doesn't work, does it? What about... Oh, no, you're not going to go down now. Uh, do you know what? Just come out. <laughs> just come and join the party. You're proving yourself too difficult. Maybe we should just leave those wooden... Yeah, do you know what? That looks nice. That looks fine. Um, I'm going for it. I think I'm going for it. Unless I can hide that any other way underneath. I just hate those. I just don't like these bits. They're like that, but they're... <laughs> What about if, uh, if I like did the, let me just see, can I size you down? Let me see. 
what about like a little moment underneath of here with these and then right into that gap i think this is going to glitch out texture wise oh it does but i can size one of them down maybe a little bit and then meander these across and still do that as well i don't think they're gonna work but testicles you know absolutely testicles it and that's what i'll probably do go on get in there what she said shut up Aiden, you child absolute child and then sizing this down um scale to a uh, 0.997 oh oh i did that wrong one sec well there we go i sized it to a 0. 0.755 and that seems to it's slightly taller but it stopped that awful glitch but i'm gonna just you can you can't see that if you're farther far away so that's what we're gonna do anyway so i do want this i think these mirrors would lend itself beautifully to this room being mid-century i just think it would just suit the vibe of it in here so i'm gonna use these two here above both of those taps there um i doubt this is gonna work but it looks nice isn't it we'll play a test it and see what happens uh, and I also want to get a toilet here as well. And I think the only toilet that will suit this room would be the spa day one. Spa day. Um, so I'm going to use the spa day toilet as well. Um, I kind of want the back on that, actually. I didn't think I was going to want that. But I think having that black ties in with the other parts of the bathroom. I do like this bathroom. It needs a nicer light, though. I think a pendulumous vagina light would look lovely in here. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, no, dude. Why have we never got a new toilet roll holder? Why is this the only toilet roll holder after seven years of the game? And this is the, still the only toilet roll holder that we've ever had in the game. Toilet roll was important. Unless you've got a B-Day. <gasps> Our Sims do have a B-Day, don't they? It's that ugly um, it's that ugly one from City Living. Yeah. Yeah, but we won't be putting that in this room. <laughs> Wait. We definitely won't be putting that in this room. No, I'm happy with that. I'm thinking now that I've moved that door, though, I'm actually going to move the toilet over more central as well. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, and this is up a little bit too high. So I'm going to pop it there. Pop it there like that. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that bathroom. I think it looks nice. We just need to choose another light. And I'm thinking the vagina light. The vagina light of dreams. So I'm going to put it in here. Let me just see the lighting. Yeah, that's more moody. That's what I want soft moody lighting in here yes indeed um and all of their like um towels and stuff are all in these little cabinetry pit bits here even when they get out the bathroom i don't want to put one up on the wall there so that's the storyline i'm sticking to it anyway so we need to do the kind of living area balcony space so this space would lend itself beautifully for having outside dining so we need to do a nice little outside dining moment here and maybe just a little area where they could come and sit out with some friends with um this kind of vibe you know um so maybe we'll do something like that there as well so let me find a nice dining room table that will suit outdoors and some chairs because i think it might take a bit of time right i played around had a little fiddle stuff Anyway, so I think I'm going to use this table, what I wanted to use inside, but it wasn't big enough. I'm going to use you outside with these chairs here, which are from Eco Lifestyle. Uh, plywood chairs. I think they would just look really nice on this part. I think I would love six seats here. So that's what we're going to do. Just in case, again, if they do have guests over, they've got enough space for them out here. Oh, I do like that. Needs a lot of greenery out here, though, which is what I'm going to do here. But what I've decided is... Well, first off, I've decided that I can't bear this thing for some reason. I really love it. I love all these plants and stuff. I want to see more of that. That's what I was going on about beforehand. Like this kind of vibe, shelving plants like that. But we're going to cover it with ivy. <laughs> I just thought this looked really cute together. Um, I might change this out for a different color. Like more. Oh, God, no, that looks dead. Yes, like that. That's better. Oh, that's much better. We're going to do two of them. One on each side here. So we're going to hide that in. It doesn't cut through or anything when you do that. Um, and what I'm going to do is flop this over the top of it. Just so it hides that moment we've got going on there. And still put some greenery out here, which is what I like. Yes. Now, all guests do get filmed when they come here. Because this, this is very exclusive. <laughs> Can't even get 
<laughs> Very exclusive house. Um, would these look nice above the table? Oh, you'd be smacking your face on that, wouldn't you? You'd be smacking your face on that. Um, I do want some kind of dramatic lighting over the table, though. Um, how have how? Oh God. Um, no, that's not the vibe. I, oh, do you know what? Oh, what was that? Um, I'm gonna use those lights that we used out here. I wish I utilized these in the house as well. These would have looked really good. Oh, they do. Oh, I don't know if I prefer those rather than the vagina lights. Let me just test this. All about the testing it is, loves. Get it above that table. Oh, I do like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, we're going to use that one there and outside as well. Come with me. To a world of pure imagination. Had to do that. <laughs> I really did. Um, I'm gonna try different swatches, but I kind of like the one that we had. No, that was a nice one. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. I'm for it, absolutely for it. And I'm thinking about utilizing that same thing on this side as well. Unless, hmm, hmm, hmm. Hold on to that thought. I'm thinking outside fireplace, just like a nice wood burner. One of these bad boys. Um, and we can only use the black, I think, out here. I think we will. I really wish there was like a brown swatch. I know we've got like these ones, but they're really like hot copper swatches. I wish there was just a nice muted brown swatch. Um, but we don't have that. That one's a bit more nicer. That's a little bit less impactful and it kind of fits in with the, the, uh, the door as well a lot better. So I think we're going to use that one. Yes, for it. Okay. And then some outside seating. So we need to still stick with that mid-century feeling that we've got going on. So let me have a little whiffle through and let me see what I come up with. Oh, and I think we found a winner. The snowy escape one in this swatch, I just think would suit this vibe very well. So we, we are going for mid-century vibes. Definitely getting a lot of inspiration for from like 50s, 60s, 70s, that kind of vibe too. Um, but I do want to make it look still modern, you know. I still want this modern edge coming through in this house. Uh, and I think I'm achieving it okay. Um, but you guys will be the judge of that. But don't judge too harshly. I'm joking. I can take it. My love's up been on YouTube for many years now. <laughs> I can take criticism. I promise. It used to be really hard for me that day to take criticism. But um, I've slowly learned to not give a shit in my 30s. So I was just like, do you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Back in my 20s, I was like, oh my god, they hate it. They hate it. And I'm not just talking about like building. I'm talking about general in life stuff, you know. But um, now I'm not asked. Not asked, darlings. Absolutely. 100%. Not asked. <laughs> Glass table. Oh, do you know, that would probably look nice. Um, Reasons being. I just hate that blue glass for goodness sake. Reasons being. We've got a glass table here, so that might even suit in the vibe. I'm going to pull you in a little bit more on, over that way. So we've got a bit more room here. Spatial awareness and all that. Uh, and I am feeling this table here, to be honest with you. Orientation-wise, it's probably going to be, lend itself well to go in that kind of direction. But the only thing I'm not feeling is the colour of that fucking glass. Oh, that's like a good glass colour. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I don't know. That orange one was not too bad then. It was better than this bloody blue. I'll tell you that, don't I? Um, but I don't think we're going to go for that. Oh, I don't know. I, I like that. I do. I like it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, she's on one. She is absolutely on one today, loves. But what is new? What is new in this community? We are all on one. And I'm glad to be on one with you lot. I really am. Really, really am. Glad to be on this adventure with you all. I'm, I'm like, I like it. I like it. I think it's nice. I think if they were going to have guests out here, though, maybe some kind of music would lend itself beautifully for being out here. Maybe not that speaker, though. We'll do this one in like the flat wood. Yes. And I'll just flop it just there. Oh, she's beautiful. She's grace. I'm for it. I'm not going to dress the table or anything either. Same over here. I don't want anything on the table. I like it. I like what we've done today. I do. I do like it. That little balcony moment we've got going on. 
very much for that. Let's have a little whiffle through here, shall we? Oh, stunning. Oh, it's looking beautiful. Yeah. I like that moment there. That's a good, um, that'd be a good thumbnail, that. Can we get any better lighting back here for the thumbnail? Oh, there's a bit of lighting going on there. Nope, that's your lot. <laughs> that's your lot. I do like that, though. Okay. Yes, I'm glad we separated this off, this area, because it kind of just stops there, if you know what I mean. Um... Oh, that looks lovely with, as well, though. Oh, that's a nice... Oh, that'd be a lovely thumbnail as well. I'd have to move that shelf, though, I think. Just for the thumbnail. But that'd be a nice thumbnail, too. So we've got a nice little office on the go as well, darlings. <gasps> this house is coming together. This house... This area is, like, practically done. This whole area here is practically done. So as I said, tomorrow we'll be back and we'll do the Master Suite tomorrow. We'll do the Master Suite and the Master Suite balcony. So tomorrow's episode might be a bit longer than this one today. Um, But so far... I'm liking how this house is coming together. I really am. There we go, my darlings. We are all done today. And I've just told this little one that he's going for a walkies. <laughs> and he's very excited. He's very excited. So I... <laughs> he's too excited. He's too excited. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow with part eight of this. I'm going to go and walk this little beautiful one now. Absolutely adore you all. See you all tomorrow. Goodbye.